Good morning. Today I thought I would record a consecration to St. Joseph on the Solemnity of St. Joseph for those who are unable to attend any of our Masses today. So I would encourage you, if you would like to consecrate yourself to St. Joseph, to please pray along with me. And during the actual consecration towards the end, to use whatever version of the consecration that you would wish. I will say one version, but if you have another version, you're welcome to pause and say the version that you are comfortable with yourself. But let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God, who has called us to be saints, be with you all and with your spirit. Today we honor the memory of St. Joseph, husband of the Virgin Mary and patron of the Universal Church. Today we unite and consecrate ourselves to St. Joseph, and we pray that through his intercession, we too might join the saints at the banquet of the Lord in the heavenly kingdom. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of David will live forever. The Son of David will live forever. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall pro proclaim your faithfulness. The Son of David will live forever. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. The Son of David will live forever. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The Son of David will live forever. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the sons of God? The sons of David will live forever. And now we pray the litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble Son of the House of David, pray for us. Light of Patriarchs, pray for us. Husband of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Faithful Guardian of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph, most chaste and just, pray for us. Joseph, most prudent and brave, pray for us. Joseph, most obedient and loyal, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workers, pray for us. Example to parents, pray for us. Guardian of the virgins, pray for us. Pillar of family life, pray for us. Comfort of the troubled, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. 
Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him Lord over his household and Prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. God, in your infinite wisdom and love, you chose Joseph to be the husband of Mary, the mother of your son. May we have the help of his prayers in heaven and enjoy his protection on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I'll say an act of consecration, and I would encourage you to pause your video at this point um, if you want to say your own individually, but uh, otherwise you're welcome to follow along with me. O glorious patriarch and patron of the church, O virgin spouse of the virgin mother of God, O guardian and virginal father of the word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father, my guardian, and my protector. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy, to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me the virtue. Protect me from the evil one. Help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you. In faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. And let us now together Pray the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a beautiful day, and happy solemnity of St. Joseph.